perfect faith says, I see it. That's what God has said. And it's done. Now, watch what I mean by that. You may go through a time of struggle, whatever the situation may be. And there are some very difficult situations in life. I do understand that. And you may struggle for a little while about it. And then you come to the place, I know God's going to do something. I'm trusting Him for it. I'm reading the Scriptures. Here's, here the promise is God. Yes, I do believe He's going to. And then when you reach perfect faith, here's what's happened. You come to the place that you no longer ask Him because you have such perfect faith, you can say in your heart and your spirit, it's done. In your mind and your heart, it's as good as already done. You say, no, 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 wait a minute. That's a little, that's a little uh, ethereal kind of stuff. No, it's not. I've lived long enough, and I've had enough experiences in life to tell you, you can come to that place where big, major, major issues in your life that nobody else can answer, and you know that God has given you the faith and get, made it very clear to you that this is what He's going to do, and in your spirit, as good as done. When it's done, here's what happens. You don't ask Him anymore. You thank Him. And you just, you praise Him for what He's going to do. Now, if, if you're one of those persons who doesn't have any patience, it's not going to work. Because sometimes He's going to say, it's done. And you know, I can tell you that afresh and anew because this week I had God tell me that about something I've prayed for a long time. It's done. Don't have to pray about it anymore. There's a perfect peace and a perfect joy and a perfect absolute assurance when God says it's done. Now, you can't just conjure that up and say, well, I'm going home this afternoon, get on my knees, and I'm going to tell God it's done. No, you're not. <laughs> you, you don't do the talking. He does the talking. It's done. And from that moment on, it's praise and thanksgiving and expectation and, listen, anticipation and looking for Him to do what? Just keep His Word. That's what He's doing is keeping His Word. And God doesn't want us, in other words, He knows that some things we're going to naturally struggle over at first. And then as we pray and as we seek His face and we get in the Word and, and begin to trust Him, what happens? Here's what happens. We, our faith builds. It matures. It becomes stronger. You can't put your fingers on it. You can't say it started here, started there maybe. But what happens is it just matures in, with inside of you. I'll tell you what it's like, maybe. Uh, you, you bake a cake, and you put it in the oven, and you're looking at it every once in a while. What's happening? It's just getting larger and larger. It's, it's, it's just, it's the heat goes on. It's, it's, it's sort of rising. That's what's happening. Faith rises. When you and I keep coming to Him, laying His promises before Him, and say, God, here's what you said. I'm going to trust you. But there comes a time if you, and when you really and truly mean business with God and your heart's clean and it's pure and you're open to Him and you want to do whatever He says do and you, you face this issue and you say, God, here's your promise. Show me. Now watch this. Most of the time, your feeling, your emotion that it is done is not going to come when you're just necessarily praying about it. Suddenly, you just know it's done. And nobody else can explain it to you. And nobody else can explain it for you. And you can't explain it to anybody else. It's something you have to experience. Perfect faith is the, is, the, is the position in your life at that time when you are so absolutely, completely confident and assured, no matter what happens, it's a done deal. God has placed that assurance in your heart that nobody else can place there.